This is Dr. J. Greg Johnson, Division Director of Gynecology, Department of OBGYN. Today's topic is the evaluation of acute pelvic pain in women. There are several sources of acute pelvic pain in women, which can be the reason for an emergency room or office visit. Of our prime interest are those that are gynecologic in nature. But also, we must remember that urological causes can result in acute pelvic pain. You can have musculoskeletal reasons for acute pain in women, gastrointestinal, vascular, and metabolic. Gynecologic causes include pelvic inflammatory disease, ovarian torsion, ovarian neoplasms which hemorrhage or rupture, rupture of an endometrioma, a degenerating fibroid, dysmenorrhea, and with a positive pregnancy test, one must consider an ectopic pregnancy or spontaneous abortion. Common non-gynecologic causes of acute pelvic pain in women include appendicitis, acute cystitis, diverticulitis, kidney stones, and abdominal wall trauma. There are many other possible causes, but these are the most common reasons for acute pelvic pain in women. For the evaluation of the woman who presents with pelvic pain, first question to ask yourself, is this event life-threatening? So you must start by taking a thorough history and use this to guide your evaluation. Identify the location of her pain, the onset and duration, the character. Is it dull, sharp, colicky, intermittent, or constant? Is it worsening? Is it cyclic? You want to ask if there have been previous occurrences of this pain. Question associations that may exacerbate the pain. That is, what makes it better, what makes it worse, what related activities cause the onset of the pain. A review of systems related to the various pelvic organ systems may lead you to the reason for this woman's pain. We need to know her menstrual history and her last menstrual period. Is there associated abnormal vaginal bleeding? Does she have a vaginal discharge? Is there pain with intercourse or her menstrual period? Gastrointestinal review of systems includes questioning nausea and vomiting and bowel function. Does she have regular bowel function? Does she have diarrhea? Does she have constipation? Urological questions include dysuria, frequency, urgency. Does she have any hematuria or flank pain? Musculoskeletal questions would investigate whether there is any relationship to movement, position, or activity. A directed past medical history includes questioning whether the patient is using or doing anything for contraception, whether her sexual history includes any sexually transmitted infections, 
or pap smear history, history of multiple sexual partners, and her pregnancy history. We should inquire about her previous surgical history, which may lead to considering pelvic adhesions, uh, ovarian or um, gastrointestinal problems that have occurred uh, previously and may be recurring. We'd also like to inquire about her social history, including a history of domestic violence and substance abuse. When you do your physical exam, of course, the first thing is to observe the patient and determine the severity of her pain, followed by vital signs to ensure that they are stable and this is not a life-threatening emergency requiring surgical intervention immediately. We then want to do a focused abdominal and pelvic exam. In examining the abdomen, observe the abdomen for any distension, visible masses, erythema, ecchymosis, scars, or hernias. Auscultate for increased or decreased bowel sounds. Then palpate the abdomen gently. I always find it useful to ask the patient to show me where the worst area of pain is located and then start my exam away from this area into areas with less um, pain and tenderness for the patient. So you want to palpate for tenderness, masses, organomegaly, trigger points, and rebound tenderness. Examine the flanks and inguinal areas in, the sim in a similar manner.